Bonjour everyone, this is Isaac here, and welcome back to Isaac Reviews 2023. Miraculous Tales of Ladybug and Cat Noir has become a very popular show in recent times, one that I haven't seen myself, but it has its fans, and now there's a movie adaptation of the show on Netflix. I didn't really have any major expectations going into it, and despite that, I still felt pretty disappointed with the end result. I mean, it's not complete garbage, but it's probably one of the most forgettable movies I've seen this year. Let me explain explain why before I completely forget it. It's about this teenage girl named Marinette who lives in Paris and is just trying to get through life but is struggling to do so due to how unbelievably clumsy she is. However, one day she stumbles upon an old abandoned shop with that quote from Schindler's List inside of it and becomes the ladybug, gaining with it the power of creation. On the flip side, rich kid Adrian becomes her opposite, Cat Noir, and the two have to use their collective powers of brain and brawn to take down a new villain who just so happens to be Adrian's father, Hawk Moth, who will stop at nothing to get their powers to bring back his late wife. Right off the bat, this is a very simplistic movie, with all the typical story beats of plenty of other kids' films. It's about an everyman protagonist who starts out as a nobody and gets bullied at school, before they discover that they're the chosen one and they have to save the world from evil, not to mention they start to develop a love interest between the person they're working with. The only sorta interesting thing it has going for it is in terms of its message on grief, since the villain, Hawk Moth, is basically just Wenwu from Shang-Chi and the Legend of the Ten Rings, but without all the nuance or development because he's in a kid's film. And the rest of the cast isn't all that notable either. The only two characters of note are the ones in the title, Ladybug and Cat Noir, aka Marinette and Adrian. They're pretty standard as far as protagonists go, but in turn, the rest of the cast feels like a checklist of bland archetypes like Marinette's parents, school bully Chloe, and the wise old man with the knowledge of the miraculous powers whose name I forgot and don't care to look up. I guess the voice acting was fine, but I'm mostly just thinking about how Marinette shares the same voice actress as Fwench Fly from the popular web series Chicken Nugget. Yes, I'm a fan of those videos, thanks for noticing. But back on to dunking on the Miraculous movie, did I mention that it's a musical, and a really bad musical at that? Like, seriously, what's with the singers they got for this movie? From what I've read, Marinette and Adrian's VAs did their own singing in the series, so how come the people making this film decided to get two singers who sounded nothing like the characters they were performing, coupled with the painfully boring pseudo Pasek and Paul lyrics? The only credit I can give the songs here is that I've heard worse songs in other movies, but suffice to say, I've heard much better too. But believe it or not, there is some merit I can give to the Miraculous movie, mainly regarding how the animation was actually great. It's very smooth and energetic, making for some fun action scenes coupled with the nice backgrounds and solid looking effects. Unfortunately though, good animation can only get you so far, and it got Miraculous, Ladybug, and Cat Noir the movie far enough to still be a pretty bad movie with some unengaging writing, tedious pacing, and terrible musical numbers. I'm not sure whether or not to recommend this to fans of the show, but otherwise, you won't be missing much sleep if you skip this one. I didn't even know it was coming to Netflix until not too long ago, and like another animated movie I reviewed this year, I think I would have preferred it if I didn't know that it existed. 4 out of 10. Anyways, thanks for watching this episode of Isaac Reviews 2023, subscribe for more videos like this, and I'll see you all next time. Bye!